Hey guys, this is Dr. Hayden in chemistry. Um, and I just wanted to reach out to you guys and sort of let you know some of the tools that we have been training faculty on this week um, that will help us as we transition to teaching online. And I wanted to give an opportunity for you guys to sort of see the tools from your side. Um, so obviously one of the tools that you're probably already familiar with um, is Moodle. And you should see your faculty are probably going to start utilizing Moodle a whole lot more and in a lot of different ways um, from putting in lecture videos um, that you may be required to watch. Um, so an example of that is here, right? I have a video already embedded um, directly in Moodle. Some of them may have links that take you out to YouTube directly to watch the video, um, but here I have it right inside Moodle. Um, you may also have discussion boards that you're going to be required to post to now. Um, again, this is something that people in classes may have already been utilizing, um, but maybe something that is going to be utilized more or for some classes might be new. Um, so you may be asked to reflect on a news article or a piece of artwork um, and create some sort of um, post about that. <clears throat> make sure you hit post to forum. <laughs> um, you may also be asked to attach files to that. So maybe you're uploading an image of your homework assignment. Um, and there's a handy app that we're training faculty to use to called Office Lens and we'll make a how-to video for that for you as well. Um, you can either embed an image directly into the discussion, um, but you should also be able to attach files um, right here. So you can drag and drop Word documents or PDF files into the discussion board. Um, like I said, it's just sort of a nice easy way to turn in um, simple assignments or homework assignments that faculty might use. Um, another thing you may see more of is Turnitin links to turn in essays and other assignments. Um, and I think most of you have experience with that, but if not, we'll create a video for that. Um, another tool that you may be asked to utilize a lot is Microsoft Teams um, in order to hold sort of synchronous discussion sessions. So if we go to Microsoft Teams, um, your faculty are making these teams. Um, so this is software or an application. It's part of the Microsoft suite. Um, you can access it by logging in to your email online. So if you go to Office 365 and log in with your BSC credentials, <coughs> You will either see Teams here, um, if this is your first landing page. If you log into your email, you'll probably will need to hit the little waffle icon, and then you can access Teams here as well. You can also download the Teams client directly to your device if you like, but it's always web accessible. So as I said, your faculty are potentially starting to make these sort of team groups um, for each class. So for example, here's my biochem and my CH101. Now the reason we're using this is we're using this, like I said, to create synchronous sessions. Um, so when you go into your team window, you'll probably see an invitation to join the virtual classroom. Now, each faculty member may um, utilize this in slightly different ways, but to join the virtual meeting, um, you're just going to click on the link and then click join. Um, it's going to ask you to optimize your camera and to optimize your microphone the first time you do it, then it, that will be your default, and then you're going to select join now and that will actually start the meeting for you. Um, 
What's cool too is we can record these meetings, we can interact with these meetings, we can share our screen, um, we can also share a whiteboard in which we can interact together um, and have notes. And then when we're done, um, there's also a chat screen, right? So y'all can be chatting off on the side as well and taking notes that way. Um, okay. And then when you're done, um, the meeting's over, we'll hang up. Um, I'm going to tell it, it was fantastic. Okay. And then the other cool thing is when everything's done, um, there's meeting notes. Um, so it kind of creates a reoccurring document of each meeting. So students who might miss out on a synchronous meeting or have dropped um, their internet access, they can still come back to that meeting. And um, if we recorded it, they can access the recording um, and any notes that were shared or any of the whiteboard that was shared, that would be there as well. Alrighty. Um, we are also, um, a lot of faculty are creating lecture videos using a software called Screencast-O-Matic. Um, not something um, that you need to learn how to utilize, um, but just know that that is there. Some faculty may create some cool projects where y'all create some um, material through Screencast-O-Matic. Um, if that's the case, we're going to create um, some videos for you guys as students in order to know how to use Screencast-O-Matic. But like I said, I think the most basic tools that you're going to have to learn um, is this Microsoft Teams. Um, and kind of how to navigate that space, at least to join meetings. Um, and, you know, start exploring your new Moodle space as your faculty get the set up. Um, one thing I have done in my classes is I have embedded that virtual class meeting link um, to Teams directly into my Moodle page, and I'm showing faculty how to do that um, to help, again, just make things simpler um, but again not all faculty may do that um, so you do need to know sort of how to access teams on your own um, typically also when um, faculty uh, create a team meeting it may also show up in your office um, calendar so, yep right there right so you can also access it join online in your Microsoft calendar um, and it will probably pop up on your cell phone as a meeting if you have your office calendar synced with your cell phone all right um, you, you know I hope you guys are staying safe I hope you guys are staying well um, please do not reach out to the help desk um, it, at BSC if you have questions about software or technology. Um, don't forget to reach out and maintain communication with your um, professor. That is going to be the most important thing as we move forward. And remember, we are all in these sort of uncharted waters. We are all trying to figure this out as we go. Um, and I think we're going to make the best of this really unique and interesting situation. It's going to challenge us and push us, um, but I think we can do some cool things. All right, again, um, I hope you're staying safe and well, and we will see y'all soon.